I'm thrilled to share with you some powerful insights and strategies that will aid you in achieving success in all aspects of your life. In today's message, I want to tackle a common struggle many of us face, feeling stuck and uncertain about how to progress in life. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and directionless, especially when we see others seemingly thriving and living their best lives. But rest assured, you're not alone in this. We've all experienced moments of stagnation, and the good news is that you have the ability to turn things around and start winning at life. By listening to this message and implementing the five strategies I'll share with you, you can break free from the cycle of feeling stuck and begin creating the life you truly desire. So, get ready to take notes and be prepared to make some positive changes in your life. Let's dive into the five ways to start winning at life, beginning with the fifth strategy, taking care of your physical and mental health. As we navigate through life, we often find ourselves immersed in the hustle and bustle of our daily routines. We prioritize work, relationships, and material possessions, often neglecting the most crucial aspect of our existence, our health. It's essential to recognize that our bodies and minds are the vessels through which we experience life, and it's our responsibility to care for them. So, ask yourself, how much time and effort do you dedicate to maintaining your physical and mental health? Do you make conscious choices to nourish your body and mind, or do you simply go through the motions and hope for the best? If we genuinely want to start winning at life, we must prioritize our health above all else. Let's begin with our physical health. Our bodies are remarkable machines capable of achieving great feats. However, like any machine, they require proper care and maintenance to function optimally. This entails fueling our bodies with nutritious food, staying hydrated, engaging in regular physical activity, and ensuring we get enough rest and sleep to allow our bodies to recharge and repair. Neglecting our physical health not only jeopardizes our well-being but also limits our potential for success. You might be thinking, I don't have time to exercise, or healthy food is too expensive. However, investing in your physical health isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. And the good news is that it doesn't have to be time-consuming or costly. Simple changes like taking a walk during your lunch break or opting for a piece of fruit over a bag of chips can significantly impact your overall health and well-being. But it's not just about physical health. We must also prioritize our mental well-being. In today's fast-paced and demanding world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and stressed. We're constantly bombarded with information and expectations, which can take a toll on our mental health. That's why it's crucial to prioritize self-care and make time for activities that bring us joy and peace of mind. Whether it's practicing mindfulness, engaging in a hobby, or simply disconnecting from technology and spending time in nature, finding ways to recharge and rejuvenate our minds is essential. Remember, a healthy mind leads to a healthy body, and vice versa. By taking care of both, we can achieve a state of balance and harmony that will allow us to thrive in all areas of our lives. Furthermore, taking care of our mental health involves being mindful of our thoughts and beliefs, as they have a profound impact on our actions and outcomes. When we constantly tell ourselves that we are not good enough or that we will never succeed, we are setting ourselves up for failure. On the other hand, if we cultivate a positive and growth-oriented mindset, we open ourselves up to endless possibilities and opportunities. So, let's choose our thoughts carefully and make sure they align with our goals and aspirations. In addition to taking care of our physical and mental health, it is also important to seek support when needed. We all face challenges and obstacles in life, and it is perfectly okay to ask for help, whether it is from a trusted friend, a family member, or a professional therapist. Reaching out for support is a sign of strength, not weakness. By taking care of our mental health, we are not only benefiting ourselves but also setting a positive example for those around us. This leads us to point number four, which is starting to win at life by developing a positive mindset. First and foremost, we must understand that our thoughts create our reality. What we think about, we bring about. So, if we constantly have negative thoughts, we will attract negativity into our lives. But if we have positive thoughts, we will attract positivity. It's a simple concept yet so powerful. My first piece of advice to you is to be mindful of your thoughts. Whenever you catch yourself having negative thoughts, immediately replace them with positive ones. This may take some practice, but it will make a world of difference in your life. 
Secondly, we must learn to reframe our failures. You see, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of the journey towards success. Every successful person has faced failure at some point in their lives, but what sets them apart is their ability to reframe their failures as learning opportunities. They don't see failure as a setback, but rather as a stepping stone towards success. So, the next time you face failure, instead of beating yourself up, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to grow and become better? Next, we must surround ourselves with positivity. The people we surround ourselves with have a huge impact on our mindset. If we surround ourselves with negative and toxic people, it will be difficult for us to maintain a positive mindset. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with positive and supportive individuals, it will be easier for us to stay positive. So, choose your circle wisely. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, inspire you, and believe in you. And lastly, we must practice gratitude. Gratitude is the key to a positive mindset. When we are grateful for what we have, we attract more things to be grateful for. It's a beautiful cycle, so make it a habit to express gratitude every day. It could be through journaling, saying thank you to someone, or simply taking a moment to appreciate the little things in life. When we focus on the good in our lives, we start to see more of it. Now, developing a positive mindset is not a one-time thing. It is an ongoing process. We must constantly work on it and make it a part of our daily routine. But I promise you, the results are worth it. When we have a positive mindset, we become more resilient, we attract more opportunities, and we live a happier and more fulfilling life. This leads us to point number three, which is starting to win at life by continuously learning and growing. You see, life is a journey, and we must constantly strive to improve ourselves and expand our knowledge. As the great philosopher Socrates once said, the only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. This statement may seem paradoxical, but it holds a profound truth. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. So, how can we continuously learn and grow? The first step is to have a thirst for knowledge. We must be curious, open-minded, and willing to explore new ideas and perspectives. We are naturally curious and eager to learn as children, but as we grow older, we often lose this sense of wonder and become complacent. We must reignite that fire within us and approach life with a childlike curiosity. The second step is to be a lifelong learner. Learning doesn't stop when we graduate from school or university. In fact, that's just the beginning. We must commit ourselves to lifelong learning, whether it's through reading books, attending seminars, or taking courses. As the saying goes, leaders are readers. The more we learn, the more we can apply that knowledge to our lives and achieve success. The third step is to embrace failure and setbacks. Many of us are afraid to fail, but failure is an essential part of the learning process. It teaches us valuable lessons and helps us grow. As the late Steve Jobs once said, I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. The fourth step is to surround ourselves with people who inspire us and push us to grow. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If we want to continuously learn and grow, we must surround ourselves with people who challenge us, support us, and inspire us to be our best selves. The fifth step is to have a growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. We must let go of the fixed mindset that tells us we are limited by our natural talents and abilities. Instead, we should embrace the growth mindset that allows us to constantly improve and reach our full potential. The sixth step is to take action. Learning without action is pointless. We must apply what we learn to our lives and take action towards our goals. As the saying goes, knowledge without action is like a bird without wings. We must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and take risks in pursuit of our dreams. The seventh and final step is to never stop growing. The journey of learning and growth never ends. We must always strive to be better, to do better, and to achieve more. As the great American author and poet Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that you can tell a lot about a person by the way he handles three things, 
a rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree lights. This leads us to number two, which is starting to win at life by taking action. You see, it is not enough to just have dreams and goals. It is not enough to just think about what we want to achieve. We must take action to turn those dreams into reality. Action is the key ingredient to success. Without it, our dreams remain just that, dreams. But with action, we can bring those dreams to life and create a life that is worth living. Now, I know that taking action can be scary and overwhelming. We often fear failure, rejection, and the unknown. But let me tell you this, the only way to truly fail is by not taking action at all. The only way to guarantee that we will not achieve our goals is by not even trying. Think about it, every successful person you admire has taken action. They have stepped out of their comfort zone, faced their fears, and taken the necessary steps to achieve their dreams. And that is what sets them apart from the rest. They were not afraid to take action, and that is why they are where they are today. But I understand that taking action can be easier said than done. So, I want to share with you some practical tips on how you can start taking action towards your goals and start winning at life. First and foremost, you must have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. You cannot take action if you do not know what you are working towards. Take some time to sit down and really think about what you want in life. What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? Once you have a clear vision, it will be easier for you to take action towards it. Next, break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks. Often, we get overwhelmed by the enormity of our goals, and that can paralyze us from taking action. But if we break them down into smaller tasks, it becomes more manageable and less intimidating. For example, if your goal is to start your own business, break it down into smaller tasks like creating a business plan, researching your target market, and setting up a website. This will make it easier for you to take action and make progress towards your goal. Another important aspect of taking action is to have a plan. It is not enough to just have a vision and break it down into smaller tasks. You must have a plan of action. This means setting deadlines, creating a schedule, and holding yourself accountable. Without a plan, it is easy to get sidetracked and lose focus. So, make sure you have a plan in place to guide your actions. Now, I want to address the fear of failure. As I mentioned earlier, this fear can hold us back from taking action. But let me tell you this, failure is not something to be feared. In fact, it is a necessary part of the journey towards success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their life, but the key is to learn from those failures and use them as stepping stones towards success. So, do not let the fear of failure stop you from taking action. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Lastly, surround yourself with people who support and encourage you. The people we surround ourselves with have a huge impact on our actions and mindset. If we surround ourselves with negative and unsupportive people, it will be difficult for us to take action and achieve our goals. But if we surround ourselves with positive, driven, and motivated individuals, it will inspire us to take action and keep pushing towards our dreams. This leads us to number one, which is starting to win at life by setting clear goals. You see, goals are the roadmap to success. They give us direction, purpose, and a sense of accomplishment. Without goals, we are like ships without a rudder, drifting aimlessly with no destination in sight. But with clear goals, we have a destination, and we can chart our course to get there. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have goals and I still haven't achieved them. And to that, I say, having goals is not enough. You must have clear and specific goals. Let me ask you, have you ever gone to a restaurant and ordered something to eat? Of course not. You have a specific dish in mind, and you order it by name. The same goes for goals. Vague and general goals will not lead you to success. You must have clear, specific, and measurable goals. One of my favorite quotes is, if you don't know where you are going, any road will get you there. This is why setting clear goals is crucial. It gives you a target to aim for and a path to follow. Imagine trying to hit a bullseye without a target. You may get close, but you will never hit it dead on. The same goes for our goals. Without a clear target, we may get close, but we will never achieve our goals with precision. Now, let's talk about the power of writing down your goals. 
Studies have shown that people who write down their goals are 42% more likely to achieve them. Writing down your goals not only makes them tangible, but it also helps to clarify and solidify them in your mind. It's like making a contract with yourself. When you write down your goals, you are making a commitment to yourself to achieve them. But writing down your goals is just the first step. The next step is to break them down into smaller, manageable tasks. This is where the magic happens. By breaking down your goals into smaller tasks, you are creating a roadmap to success. You can now see the steps you need to take to achieve your goals, and as you complete each task, you gain momentum and your confidence grows. This is the power of setting clear goals. Another essential aspect of setting clear goals is to make them smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Specific goals are clear and concise. Measurable goals have a quantifiable outcome. Achievable goals are realistic. Relevant goals align with your values and purpose. And time-bound goals have a deadline. By making your goals smart, you are setting yourself up for success. Now, I want to address the fear of failure. Many people avoid setting goals because they are afraid of failing. But let me tell you, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their journey. The key is to learn from your failures and use them as stepping stones to success. As the saying goes, fall seven times, stand up eight. Finally, I want to leave you with this thought. Setting clear goals not only helps you achieve success, but it also helps you grow as a person. As you strive towards your goals, you will learn new skills, overcome obstacles, and develop resilience. This personal growth is invaluable and will serve you in all areas of your life. Goals give us direction, purpose, and a sense of accomplishment. They must be clear, specific, and measurable. Write them down, break them down into smaller tasks, and make them smart. And remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. So, go out there, set your goals, and start winning at life. Thank you. Today, I want to discuss a topic crucial for achieving your dreams and goals, self-discipline. In today's message, I'll share with you the fifth way to stay focused on your dreams, which is by practicing self-discipline. I understand that self-discipline might sound boring and difficult, but trust me, you're not alone in struggling with it. It's a common challenge that many of us face. However, by listening to this message, you can turn things around and learn how to cultivate self-discipline in your life. We all have dreams and goals that we want to achieve, but often, we get sidetracked by distractions or our own lack of discipline. But I'm here to tell you that with the right mindset and practices, you can stay focused and disciplined toward your dream. So, if you're ready to take your dreams seriously and learn how to stay focused through self-discipline, then keep watching. Because by the end of this video, you will have the tools and knowledge to turn your dreams into reality. Let's get started. Starting with number five, the fifth way to stay focused on your dreams is practicing self-discipline. Now, I know self-discipline may not be the most exciting or glamorous topic, but let me tell you, it is the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving your dreams. It is the foundation upon which all other personal development skills are built. Without self-discipline, all our efforts towards success will crumble. So, what exactly is self-discipline? It is the ability to control your thoughts and actions, to stay focused on your goals, and to resist temptations and distractions. It is the power to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like it. Self-discipline is the bridge between your dreams and your reality. Now, I know many of you may be thinking, but Jim, self-discipline is hard. It requires sacrifice and willpower. I'm not sure I have what it takes. Well, let me tell you, my friend, self-discipline is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And just like going to the gym, it may be tough at first, but the more you exercise your self-discipline, the easier it becomes. So, how can we practice self-discipline and stay focused on our dreams? Let me share with you some practical tips that have helped me and countless others in our journey towards success. First and foremost, you must have a clear vision of your dreams. You cannot stay disciplined if you don't know what you're working towards. Take some time to sit down and define your goals, both short-term and long-term. Write them down, visualize them, and make them as specific as possible. This will give you a sense of direction and purpose, 
making it easier to stay disciplined. Next, you must create a plan of action. A dream without a plan is just a wish. Break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks and set deadlines for yourself. This will not only help you stay on track but also give you a sense of accomplishment as you cross each task off your list. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a dream. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, distractions. In today's fast-paced world, distractions are everywhere, and they can easily derail us from our path towards success. But here's the thing, we cannot control the distractions, but we can control our response to them. We must learn to say no to things that do not align with our goals. We must learn to prioritize and focus on what truly matters. It's not about having more time, it's about making the most of the time we have. Another crucial aspect of self-discipline is developing good habits. As Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. Our habits shape our character and determine our success. So, it's important to identify the habits that are holding us back and replace them with positive ones. It may not be easy, but with discipline and consistency, we can form new habits that will lead us towards our dreams. One of the biggest challenges we face when it comes to self-discipline is our own mind. Our thoughts can either lift us up or bring us down. That's why it's crucial to have a positive mindset. We must learn to control our thoughts and replace negative self-talk with empowering affirmations. Remember, our thoughts become our actions, and our actions become our reality. Lastly, I want to talk about accountability. We all need someone to hold us accountable for our actions especially when it comes to self-discipline. Find an accountability partner, someone who will support and encourage you but also hold you accountable for your actions. This could be a friend, a mentor, or a coach. Having someone to answer to can be a powerful motivator to stay disciplined and focused on our dreams. And I'm here to tell you that the number three way to do that is by surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. Now, I know what you may be thinking, Jim, that seems obvious. Of course, we should surround ourselves with positive and supportive people. But let me tell you, my friends, it is not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it is one of the biggest challenges we face in our journey towards success. We are constantly bombarded with negativity, whether it be from the media, our peers, or even our own inner thoughts. And it takes a conscious effort to surround ourselves with positivity and support. But why is it so important? Why should we make it a priority to surround ourselves with positive and supportive people? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a room full of negative people? How did you feel afterward? Drained, right? On the other hand, have you ever been in a room full of positive and supportive people? How did you feel then? Energized, inspired, and motivated. That, my friends, is the power of the people we surround ourselves with. You see, we are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with. They shape our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. And if we want to stay focused on our dreams, we need to surround ourselves with people who will uplift us, encourage us, and push us towards our goals. We need to create a circle of influence that will support and guide us towards success. But how do we do that? How do we surround ourselves with positive and supportive people? Well, let me share with you a few key principles that have helped me in my own journey. First and foremost, we must be intentional about who we let into our inner circle. We must be selective about the people we allow to influence us. Now, this doesn't mean that we should only surround ourselves with people who agree with us or have the same goals as us. It means that we should surround ourselves with people who have a positive outlook on life, who are driven and motivated, and who will challenge us to be our best selves. Secondly, we must be willing to let go of toxic relationships. This can be a difficult and uncomfortable process, but it is necessary for our growth and success. We cannot afford to have negative and unsupportive people dragging us down and holding us back. It may be tough, but we must have the courage to distance ourselves from those who do not align with our goals and dreams. Next, we must actively seek out positive and supportive people. This means attending networking events, joining clubs or organizations, or even reaching out to mentors or coaches. Surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who are also on a path towards success will not only provide us with support but also open doors to new opportunities and connections. 
But it's not just about finding positive and supportive people. It's also about being one. We must be the kind of person that we want to surround ourselves with. This means being positive, uplifting, and supportive to others. When we radiate positivity, we attract it back into our lives. And lastly, we must remember that it's not just about the people we physically surround ourselves with, but also the information we consume. In today's digital age, we are constantly bombarded with information from various sources. And it's important to be mindful of what we allow into our minds. We must be selective about the books we read, the podcasts we listen to, and the social media accounts we follow. Surrounding ourselves with positive and motivational content will help us stay focused on our dreams and drown out the negativity. My friends, surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people is crucial to our success. It is a key component in staying focused on our dreams and achieving our goals. So, I urge you all to take a look at the people in your life and ask yourself, are they helping or hindering your journey towards success? And if necessary, make the necessary changes to surround yourself with a circle of influence that will uplift and support you. Now, on to number two. You must have a clear vision of where you want to go and who you want to be. That is why the second way to stay focused on your dreams is to create a vision board. Now, some of you may be wondering, what exactly is a vision board? Well, let me tell you. A vision board is a powerful tool that helps you visualize your dreams and goals. It is a collage of images, quotes, and affirmations that represent your desires and aspirations. It serves as a constant reminder of what you want to achieve and keeps you focused on your dreams. You see, our minds are like magnets. They attract what we constantly think about. And a vision board helps us to constantly think about our dreams and goals. It is like a roadmap that guides us toward our destination. Just like a GPS, it helps us stay on track and avoid getting lost in the distractions of life. Creating a vision board is a simple process, but the impact it can have on your life is immeasurable. First, you need to identify your dreams and goals. What is it that you truly want in life? What are your deepest desires? Take some time to reflect on these questions and write down your answers. Next, find images, quotes, and affirmations that represent your dreams and goals. You can cut them out from magazines, print them from the internet, or even draw them yourself. The important thing is that these images and words resonate with you and evoke strong emotion. Once you have gathered all your materials, it's time to put them together on a board. You can use a cork board, poster board, or even a virtual board on your computer. Arrange the images and words in a way that is visually appealing to you. You can also add some personal touches like your favorite colors or decorations. Now, you may be thinking, how exactly does looking at a board help me stay focused on my dreams? Well, let me tell you. The power of visualization is incredible. When we see something repeatedly, our minds start to believe it is possible. It creates a sense of familiarity and comfort, making our dreams and goals seem more attainable. When you look at your vision board every day, it serves as a reminder of what you are working toward. It keeps your dreams and goals at the forefront of your mind. And when you are faced with challenges or distractions, your vision board serves as a source of motivation and inspiration. But creating a vision board is not just about putting pretty pictures together. It is about taking action toward your dreams. Your vision board should be a reflection of your actions and the steps you are taking to achieve your goals. It should also evolve as you grow and your dreams change. For example, if one of your dreams is to travel the world, your vision board can include images of different countries, quotes about adventure, and affirmations about exploring new cultures. But it should also include a savings plan or a list of steps you need to take to make your dream a reality. Creating a vision board is not a one-time activity. It is an ongoing process that requires you to constantly review and update it. As you achieve your goals, you can remove them from your board and add new ones. This not only keeps your vision board relevant but also helps you track your progress. Now, some of you may be skeptical about the power of a vision board. You may be thinking, how can looking at pictures and words help me achieve my dreams? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever bought a new car and suddenly started seeing that same car everywhere? Or have you ever thought about someone and then ran into them unexpectedly? This is the power of our minds and the law of attraction. 
When we focus our thoughts and energy on something, we start to notice it more in our surroundings. And by constantly looking at our vision board, we are focusing our thoughts and energy on our dreams and goals. We are attracting them into our lives. But let me be clear, a vision board is not a magic wand. It is not going to make your dreams come true overnight. It is simply a tool to help you stay focused and motivated on your journey towards success. It requires hard work, dedication, and perseverance to achieve your dreams. But with a clear vision and a strong mindset, anything is possible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to share with you the number one way to stay focused on your dreams. As a personal development guru, I have spent my life studying and teaching the principles of success. And I can confidently say that the key to achieving your dreams lies in setting clear and specific goals. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations. We all have that burning desire to achieve something great, to make a difference in the world, to leave a legacy. But how many of us actually turn those dreams into reality? How many of us get distracted, lose motivation, or give up altogether? The sad truth is, the majority of people never reach their full potential because they lack one crucial element, clear and specific goals. Goals are like a compass that guides us toward our destination. They give us direction, purpose, and a sense of control over our lives. Without them, we are like ships without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea of life. So, my friends, if you want to stay focused on your dreams and turn them into reality, you must set clear and specific goals. But what exactly do I mean by clear and specific goals? Well, let me break it down for you. First and foremost, your goals must be clear. This means that you must have a crystal clear picture of what you want to achieve. You cannot just say, I want to be successful, or I want to be rich. Those are vague and ambiguous statements that will not get you anywhere. You must be specific about what success or wealth means to you. Is it a certain amount of money? Is it a specific position in your career? Is it a certain level of happiness and fulfillment? The more specific you are, the clearer your goals will be. Next, your goals must be specific. This means that they must be measurable and have a deadline. You cannot just say, I want to lose weight, or I want to start a business. Those are vague statements that do not give you a target to aim for. Instead, you must set a specific amount of weight you want to lose and a deadline to achieve it. Or you must set a specific type of business you want to start and a timeline for its launch. This will not only give you a clear target to aim for but it will also create a sense of urgency and accountability. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, setting goals is easy. I can just write them down and forget about them. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Setting goals is the easiest part. It's the discipline and commitment to follow through on those goals that separates the winners from the losers. You see, setting goals is just the first step. The real work begins when you start taking action toward those goals. And this brings me to my next point, the power of small, consistent actions. You see, most people fail to achieve their goals because they get overwhelmed by the enormity of the task at hand. They set big, audacious goals, but they have no idea how to achieve them. And when they don't see immediate results, they get discouraged and give up. But here's the thing, consistent actions, every day, toward your goals, will lead to success. It's not about making huge leaps and bounds, it's about taking small, consistent steps in the right direction. So, my friends, if you want to stay focused on your dreams, you must commit to taking small, consistent actions every day toward your goals. And trust me, when you look back after a year or two, you will be amazed at how far you have come. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have set goals in the past, and I have failed to achieve them. What makes you think this time will be any different? Well, let me tell you this. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their lives. But what sets them apart is their ability to learn from their failures and keep moving forward. You see, failure is not fatal. It is just feedback. It shows you what works and what doesn't. So, my friends, do not be afraid of failure. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it as a stepping stone toward your goals. As we come to the end of this message, I want to leave you with one last thought. Setting clear and specific goals is not a one-time event. 
It is an ongoing process. As you achieve one goal, you must set another one, and then another one. That's how you keep growing, keep evolving, and keep moving toward your dreams. Thank you.